Good to see you up instead of thrashing about in your sleep. You must have been having one hell of a nightmare. I was wondering if you were ever going to wake up. I'm Karth, one of the Republic soldiers from the Endar Spire. I was with you in the escape pod. Do you remember? I, I, I remember a long loading screen. I, I don't know about you, but I, I just saw the word loading engraved in my brain. Seriously, that took a while. You've been slipping in and out of consciousness for a couple of days now, so I imagine you're pretty confused about things. Try not to worry. We're safe. At least for the moment. We're in an abandoned apartment on the planet of Terrace. We were banged up pretty bad when our escape pod crashed, but luckily I wasn't seriously hurt. I was able to drag you away from our crash site in all the confusion, and I stumbled into this abandoned apartment. By the time the Sith arrived on the scene, You don't have to thank me. I've never abandoned anyone on a mission, and I'm not about to start now. Besides, I'm gonna need your help. Terrace is under Sith control. Their fleet is orbiting the planet, they've declared martial law, and they've imposed a planet-wide quarantine. But I've been in worse spots. I saw on your service records that you understand a remarkable number of alien languages. That's pretty rare in a raw recruit. But it should come in handy while we're stranded on a foreign world. There is no way the Republic will be able to get anyone through the Sith blockade to help us. If we're gonna find Bastila and get off this planet, we can't rely on anybody but ourselves. That smack to your head did more damage than I thought. Bastila's a Jedi. She was with the strike team that killed Darth Revan, Malak's Sith Master. Bastila's the key to the whole Republic war effort. The Sith must have found out that she was on the Endar Spire and set an ambush for us in this system. I believe Bastila was on one of the escape pods that crashed down here in Terrace. For the sake of the Republic war effort, we have to try and find her. Bastila is no ordinary Jedi. She has a rare gift the Jedi call battle meditation. Bastila's power can influence entire armies. Through the Force, Bastila can inspire her allies with confidence and make her enemies lose their will to fight. Often that's all it takes to tip the balance in a battle. Of course there are limits to what she can do, but from what I understand of her ability, it requires great concentration and focus to maintain her battle meditation. The attack on the Endar Spire happened so fast, she never had a chance to use her battle meditation. Like us, she barely got out alive. See, now the thing is, in KOTOR 2, you can get battle meditation as a skill. It's not that good. They're lying to us right now. Bastila's gonna need our help. Many of Darth Malak's followers can use the dark side of the Force, and the Sith have already killed more than their share of Jedi in this war. Nobody will be looking for a couple of common soldiers like us, and if we're careful, we can move about the planet without attracting notice. A luxury Bastila won't have. She's gonna have half the Sith fleet looking for her. They know how important she is to the war effort. The whole planet is under quarantine. No ships can land or take off. So if Bastila's gonna escape Terrace, she's gonna need our help. And we'll probably need hers. While you were out, I did some scouting around. There are reports of a couple of escape pods crashing down into the Undercity. It's probably a good place to start. But the Undercity's a dangerous place. We don't want to go there unprepared, and it won't do Basil any good if we go and get ourselves killed. Or so you say. I'll tell you whatever I can, though I, I don't know how much help it'll be. Oh yeah, by the way, this is this is a Bioware game, so there's a lot of talking. I'm not sure if you've realized. Everything I know about Malik is pretty much common knowledge. He escaped the trap that killed Darth Revan, his Sith Master. With Revan's death, Malik became the new Dark Lord. It's obvious that Malik's a ruthless tyrant who'll crush anyone who stands in his way, just like Revan was. Experience has shown <coughs> that the Sith won't stop until the Republic lies in ruins. Malak and his Sith don't respect anything except raw, brutal power. It's hard to imagine how someone who used to be a Jedi could become such a monster. Well, I hope you're right. But the Republic hasn't been able to stop them so far, even with the support of the Jedi Council. I think Bastila may be the galaxy's last hope. Taurus was once a magnificent planet-wide metropolis of towering skyscrapers, but that was a long time ago. The upper city where the rich citizens live is, is still pretty safe. If it wasn't for the Sith occupation and the planet-wide quarantine, it might not even be a bad place to live. 
But farther down, things have degenerated. The, the lower city is nothing but a slum overrun by swoop bike gangs, waging a never-ending war for control. And the undercity is, I'll say, worse. The lowest level of Terrace is a wasteland overrun by rat ghouls, mindless, diseased mutants that attack on sight. I've already entered all this info into your data pad journal. Who says you can go looking in my data pad journal, sir? I could have personal information in it. Like my crush, my hopes and my dreams and whatnot. How do you how do you know? Who gave you the right? Like, that's just rude, sir. I understand why you want to know more about me. I I kind of get the feeling we'll be spending a lot of time together over the next while. Almost almost really like, like an entire game problems. together. Am I right? You should stay focused on the task at hand. There'll be a time for that later. Good idea. We can use this abandoned apartment as a base. We can probably get some equipment and supplies here in the upper city. Just remember to keep a low profile. I've heard some grim stories about the Dark Jedi interrogation techniques. They say the Force can do terrible things to a mind. Can wipe away your memories and destroy your very identity. But I figure if we don't do anything stupid, we should be okay. I mean, after all, they're, they're looking for Basila, not a couple of grunts like us. All right, soldier. Let's move out. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of shit to do here. A lot of shit to do here. But first, before we go out and do anything, workbench. Yep, yep, upgrade stuff. Use the workbench. Take the prototype thing. Give it the vibration cell. Just for a little bit, a little bit extra. A little bit extra kick into it. I guess already good, but now it's more good. It's gooder, as some might say. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. You wanna... There we go. Yep, I need to take calf, but that's not a bad thing, because calf is cool. Calf is cool. Right, you alien scum. Everybody, get up against the wall. This is a raid. That's how we sit deep with smart mouth aliens. Now the rest of you, get up against the wall before I lose my temper again. What's this? I said that to my ex once. Aliens, dun dun. Nope. Nope, that's kind of... That's kind of rapey, never mind. I never said that to my ex. That's kind of rapey. Jesus! I hit that guy so hard they both blew up. Also, I'm not sure if I pointed it out, but I'm going to be light side for this. Because although dark side is arguably more fun, it's just... Stick with the cannon. Cannon it up. And bash the door. Yep. And again. And again. Also, I leveled up off that fight. Like you're, you're guaranteed to level up that fight if you've been killing everyone. So let's just skills. I got one point, so treat injury. Feats. Uh, I would maybe maybe later, maybe later. Ah, uh, I'm so out of touch with like what feats to get. It's, sure, why not? Saving throws is always good. What do you want, female? Who are you? What are you doing in here? You can't just come barging into someone's home. 
That's no excuse. You can't just go around barging into people's apartments because you're curious. But it's but an at RPG. Least you're more than that pig Holden. Just one of Darvik's men who can't keep his hands to himself. But all he got for his trouble was a nasty scar from my vibroblade. Too bad I'm the one still paying the price. I don't want to talk about it. I'm in enough trouble already. Besides, I don't know if I can trust you. Maybe if I persuade you. Well, I suppose you seem like an alright sort. When I cut Holden, it made him back off, but it also embarrassed him in front of his friends. Holden's a spiteful little hut slug. He went and put out a bounty on my head for what I did. That's why I'm hiding out here. I doubt it. Holden is one of Darvik's men. When you work for the local crime lord, the authorities tend to turn a blind eye. I'm afraid this is between me and Holden now. You could try, I guess. He usually hangs out at the cantina in the lower city. It probably won't do any good. Holden's used to getting his own way. That's one of the fringe benefits of being a goon for Darvik. Working for the local crime lord lets you get away with things. Still, I appreciate the offer. Goodbye and good luck. I hope you can talk some sense into Holden. Oh, so do I, miss. So do I. Yeah, she's one of the many bounties that you can collect here. Oh, God, you. Never buy his energy shields. Never buy his energy shield because it's ridiculously expensive compared to what it is. Yeah, let's just no. You have nothing for me, if I remember correctly. Like literally nothing. So let's just bash this down. And again, come on. Come on, nation. You can do it. Bash the shit. One more time. Come on. Come on. Come on. Put put some willy into it. Put some willy into it, man. Come on. Come on. You got you got this. You got this. Nope. Come on. Come on. Here. I believe in you. How did you miss? How do you miss a door? I'll talk to you in a minute, lad. I'm just stealing your shit. Ooh. Lovely jubbly. Uh, nope. Okay. What's up? Pudu. Tony Rama na praka donko searcha. Good girl. Chupa punky. She knows what's up. Up a city. I'll go down in a second. What about you? Come on. Yeah, look at that. 14 damage. Oh, that's a free. That's not what I want. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna take, take this bag. Computer spikes, parts, and credits. What do you mean you have nothing of value? I just took stuff of value. You liar. You lied to me. And if I was dark side, that'd mean you have to die. Anything in here? Nope. Nope, nothing in here. There's another toilet. Another door I gotta bash down. That's a one damage. Nope. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, you got this. Come on, bro. You got this. Come on, bald headed power. Nope. Come on, do it again. Almost. I like how he twirls his sword. Now, what we got in here? We got a foot locker. We got a foot locker. And pretty much the same, but still. So, always good. You have nothing good to say, but you can talk to him. And that's our apartment, so we're done here. And you're doing a poor job at hiding those bodies. Now, if I remember correctly, we need to go... to the lift, and then the cantina. Could be wrong, but I think that's where we need to go. 
Lift and then cantina, but I don't remember which way is which. And there's a man. Hello, man. Oh, all right. Every now and again, when you level up, people have new dialogue for you. Yes, what's on your mind? Me? Well, I've been a star pilot for the Republic for years. Seen more than my share of wars. I fought in the Mandalorian Wars before all this started. But with all that, I've never experienced anything like the slaughter these Sith animals can unleash. Not even the Mandalorians were that senseless. My home world was one of the first planets to fall to Malak's fleet. The Sith bombed it into submission, and there wasn't a damn thing our Republic forces could do to stop them. It shouldn't be my fault. I did everything I could. I followed my orders and did my duty. That, that shouldn't mean I failed them. I, I didn't. No, I, I know. Don't worry about it. I just... I must not be making much sense. You probably mean well with your questions. I'm just not accustomed to talking about my past very much. At all, actually. I'm more used to taking action. Keeping my mind focused on the business at hand. So let's just do that. If you have more questions, ask them later. Kaf is a very hard person to talk to. Trust me. There's a shop here. I don't know if they have anything of interest. They could. Hello there. I haven't seen you in my shop before. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Kevla Yurt. Welcome to the Equipment Emporium. You looking to buy some supplies? My shop's the largest one in all of Upper Terrace. Best selection on the planet. Whatever you need, I've got. Well, mostly. Mostly? What do you mean by that? The Sith confiscated all my heavy weapons and they impounded all my ships and swoop bikes. But I've still got a real nice selection, if you're interested. Sure, what you got? Uh, just so you know, the prices on the items are our final. No bargaining here. This isn't a swap meet, okay? I only deal in top-notch stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so... Ooh. 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 Alright, so she has some alright armor. She has some alright armor. Uh, that's pretty damn good. Can't afford any of it, but that's pretty damn good. Uh, I believe that's useful for later. But okay, thank you, dear. I'll come. I'll come back if I remember there's anything that you have that I need. Now, is this the cantina? This is the cantina. We don't need the cantina. Do we need the cantina? Nope. Not yet. Okay. So, we're on the wrong side of Terrace. On the wrong side of Terrace. Now, we've got to walk. we got to do a lot of walking. Christopher walking. If, if I could do a Christopher walking impression, I would have just then, but I can't. So, you have to sit with that flat joke. I believe this is Droid and Medic Man, or just, yep, just Medic Man, okay. There's a quest in here that we gotta get, Also, I'll go down in a second. I see from your appearance that you are an off-worlder. Still, you are welcome here. I'll not have it said that Selka Foran refused to help somebody just because they weren't a citizen of Terrace. Do you require healing or medical supplies? I can treat almost any injury or ailment right here at the medical facility. Except the rat tool disease, of course. The terrible affliction has plagued Terrace for many generations. It is spread by the rat ghouls, horrible monsters that live in the Undercity below Terrace's great skyscrapers. Prolonged exposure to the Undercity breeds the disease, and those infected would eventually mutate into rat ghouls themselves, becoming mindless beasts that feed on the flesh of others. Mm, there is no antidote for the disease. Though I heard the Republic scientists at the military base here on Terrace were close to perfecting a cure. Then the Sith arrived. They overran the military base, and now they refuse to allow anyone access to the laboratories inside. The Sith are keeping all the serum for the patrols they send into the Undercity. If I could just get my hands on a sample of that serum, the Rakgul disease could be wiped from the face of Terrace forever. But I don't see how that's going to happen. Especially since in the Old Republic, which is set like a hundred or three hundred years later, there's still rat ghouls on Terrace. Yeah, if you remember correctly, there's still rat ghouls on Terrace. They had to fight them. They weren't fun. I don't see how anyone could get their hands on that serum. The military base is crawling with Sith guards. Breaking in there would be a suicide mission. I suppose the Sith patrols in the Undercity might have a sample of the serum on them. 
if they hadn't already used it because of a rat ghoul infection. But I doubt a patrol would just hand the serum over, and nobody is stupid enough to attack one of the Sith patrols, even in the Undercity. Please, don't say that! If the Sith hear you, they might think I'm suggesting you start attacking their patrols. They could shut me down. I only mentioned the serum because you asked. I don't actually expect anyone to get me the serum. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? Uh, nope. Goodbye. But, let's just take a look in here, shall we? And again. One more time. Come on, big numbers, big damage. That was nothing. No, big numbers. There we go. What are you doing? Don't go in there. That door is for employees only. You, you recognize these soldiers? But how? Unless, unless you're a friend of the Republic. I am the Republic. I, uh, I guess I'd better tell you what's going on. I only hope the Sith don't find out what I've done. Since the space battle overhead, people have been secretly bringing in these Republic soldiers who crash landed on the planet. I had to take them in. What choice did I have? Their injuries are terrible. Most won't survive. But at least I can make their last days more comfortable. And at least here, they're hidden away from the Sith. Well, for that, you have my thanks. It's good to know that at least some of these men ended up in compassionate hands. I hate to imagine what the Sith would do if they discovered these soldiers here. But since their initial questioning, the Sith have not returned, so it may be my fears are unfounded. I'm afraid there's nothing more anyone can do for these soldiers. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should return to the front in case anyone comes in needing medical attention. I, I can't... I can't hear him talk without hearing um, Red Alert from Transformers on the PS2. Commander, the Decepticons have followed the Minicon signal to Earth. Our mission directive is to locate the Minicons before they do. I, I'm, I'm almost certain it's the same person. You there. Wait a minute. I need to talk to you about the Rat Gold Serum. I've got an offer for you you might want to hear. Zelka isn't the only one who wants to get his hands on the Rat Ghoul Serum. Davik Kang will pay you ten times what Zelka can if you can get the cure. Oh, come on. Everybody knows who Davik Kang is. He's the big boss around here. Gambling, smuggling, extortion. He's got a piece of all the action on Taris. I prefer to think of him as a role model. He started with nothing, and now he's got it all. Credits, power, women. It's the Teresian dream, right? Helping people is all well and good, but you have to help yourself first, right? I'm telling you, David will pay big credits for the cure. More than Zelka could ever afford. He's, he's not lying the there. Afford the cure. Just let the poor suffer. Right. If you find the Rat Ghoul Serum, just take it to Zax in the Lower City Bounty Office. He works for Davik. He'll pay you what that cure is really worth. He's not lying. You will get a lot of credits. But we're playing... we're playing light side, so no. Davik says you missed your last payment. Yeah, <laughs> Here, I, I've got 50 credits, a down payment. That should find me some time, right? Sorry, you're out of time. Now it's all or nothing. Davik can't have people not paying his debts. But I don't have that much. How can I give you credits I don't have? No, help! Somebody help! They're going to kill me! I know we have to be careful about drawing attention to ourselves, but are we going to just let them drag this guy off? Hold on a second. Looks like we got ourselves a witness here. Well, I mean... He did... What? Like, why would you bo... This is one thing I've never understood. Why would you borrow money that you can't pay back? I've never understood that. Like, I've never understood the concept of borrowing money that you can't pay back from, like, loan sharks or any sort of loan company or anything. I don't, I don't understand the point. But, 
But I guess I have to be a nice guy. Right. And I missed. And I missed. Way to go, Carl. I owe you my life. Those bounty hunters are going to take me away and kill me. My wife warned me not to take a loan from Tavik. Now I can't pay him back. It's not good to owe a crime lord money. He'll just keep sending more bounty hunters after me till I'm dead. You already helped me by saving me from those bounty hunters, so unless you have a spare 100 credits to give me so I can pay off Davik, there's nothing else you can do. You've given me 100 credits? Just like that? I... I don't know what to say. Thank you. Thank you. You're giving him 100 credits? Generous. Now I can pay off Davik. You've saved my life. Thank you. I'd better take these credits to him right away. And now, for the reason why this isn't exactly like kindness of your heart, because fifty credits, fifty credits, it somewhat diminishes the impact of you giving him a hundred credits out of your pocket when you're guaranteed fifty credits regardless, or you're guaranteed a hundred credits regardless. So it sort of lessens the importance. If you know what I mean. Like, it's not a big deal. It's, oh, what happened there? It's like, oh, you gave you gave him all that money at the kind of sea heart. Yeah, well, I was guaranteed it back. Nope, we're not going there. I can't remember what's in there, actually. We, we, might, we, might go there, we might go there in a second. Once we're finished up here. And avoid those, avoid those green guys. Those green guys there, avoid them. Now which way is... Droid shop, okay, so it's this way. We don't need to go to the droid shop, don't worry. Not yet, not for a while. Hey buddy, what's up? This elevator is off limits. Only Sith patrols and those with proper authorization are allowed into the lower city. It's obvious from the way you're dressed that you're not one of the Sith patrols. So unless you have the authorization papers, you must move along. Who are you to talk about the way I'm dressed? I mean, look at you with your stylish, reflective silver armor. Okay, fair enough. If you were supposed to have them, you'd know where to get them. Now quit wasting my time and move along. Like, you make clone troopers look like bitches. Move along. We're gonna need some kind of disguise if we want to get past this guy. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry. And that's the Sith. Nope, we're not going there. Okay, well. Oh, I know where we going. I know where we... Can I just... No, I can't. Uh. Oh, that's a shame. I hope I could Listen just quick to travel. Me, people. Nope, wrong way. There is a terrible scourge sweeping our planet. I'm just hoping Heed I could quick travel. But what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? There's a lot of walking in this game, by the way. So I'll probably either speed it up, cut it out, or just leave it in and ramble. Ramble, ramble, ramble. Oh yeah, I know why I have to go to those apartments, so we can do that literally in a second. I lied, it's not literally a second, it's a bit. Is it equipment emporium? Canteen okay, that's where we're going. We gotta go to the cantina, yo. Now there's two ways. Two ways to get um the disguise. The there's one of the apartments which is kill a dude and steal it. And it's this way, which is more fun. Although, I don't think you get the XP. Because you, you fight three people in that one. I don't think you get any XP for this one. But it's more fun, so I'm going to do it. I would I would do the quick quick save, quick load to show both ways, but it's not... Like, it's not um, worth it at the moment. Anyway.
talk to this guy, you can get a you can get a Berserk deck. I'm not gonna bother because it's long. This this is the one we have to talk to, Sana. But if you're a female, you have to. I can't believe we couldn't get arena tickets for this match. Now we'll have to watch the duel on the view screen. Who cares? It's Duncan and girl on fighting. It's not like we're gonna miss anything good. Shh, they're about to start. So quit complaining and just watch the view screen. Ladies and gentlemen, I draw your attention to the dueling ring. Here, two combatants will battle for your viewing and gambling enjoyment. Now, I hope all your bets are down because we're ready to roll. In this corner, I give you Girl on Two Fingers. And over here, looking to climb the ranks yet again, is the ever persistent Dead Eye Duncan. Nobody's great surprise, Deadeye is down again. Don't worry, folks, he's just unconscious. As usual, our medics will have him up and about in a bit. Well, that was quick, wasn't it? So I give you the winner, Girl on Two Fingers. I wasn't meant to walk here. I was meant, I was meant to show you that you talk to Sana for the costume, what well, a disguise if you're a male, and you talk to. Uh, where is he? Where is he? There you are. You talk to him, Yan. Talk to Yan if you're female. But we are male, so. Hey, Sana, what's up? Hi there. I haven't seen you around before. Of course, they don't give us Sith officers from the military base much time off. I'm off duty right now, so I'm not in uniform. My name is Sana, junior officer, first class with the Sith Occupation Force. I'm actually a little surprised you're talking to me at all. Most of the people here on Taras can't stand us Sith. It can make this job pretty lonely. Now, you don't have to persuade, but you can. Like, even if you don't have any points in persuade, I believe it's... this one that um, sh that she will respond well to. You're an off-worlder. <laughs> I figured you'd be even more angry being stuck on a foreign planet and all. Yeah, and you can do... I don't think she likes this one actually, so if you do this one I think it's the good choice. You know, it's like everyone on this backwater planet is in a permanent bad mood. Don't they know we have to make the best of things? <laughs> Yep, and then everybody has their ups and downs, it's how you deal with them that counts. Exactly, it's yep, all about there we attitude. Go. I didn't ask to be assigned to this backwater planet, but I try to make the best of it. It's pretty easy to get depressed on an assignment like this, but we do what we can to keep our spirits up. And blow off steam, I think is the one. That's true. It's nice to meet someone who understands what I'm going through. It's good to talk about this stuff. It gets pretty lonely at the military base. I have to get going soon. I've got a ship to the military base, but some of us junior Sith officers are having a party tonight to blow off some steam. I'd really like to see you again. Why don't you drop by the party? I'll show you where it is on your map. Don't be late. We're starting right after our ship's end. Most of us won't even be going back to the base to lock up our uniforms. I look forward to seeing you there. Oh, oh, so I, I, are you, are you, are you, are you, are you saying that you are, you know, are you, are you saying that you'll be in uniform? Oh my. Yeah, okay, well, let's get going then. Race you. Yeah, I win. I win because I'm awesome. And now we have to go all the way back to the apartment, so I'm just going to probably cut that out.
Okay. I don't remember which one it is. Well, actually, you'll, you'll know very easily which one it is. I mean, it's, it's not this one because it's locked for, for starters. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yep. Yep. Don't mind me just stealing everything you own. I remember when a person didn't have to worry about thieves rummaging through their home. Yeah, imagine that. Don't! Don't hurt my family! Look, just take what you want and get out! I promise nothing. Can't even talk to the child. Speak to me, child! Okay. Alright then. Ah, oh, look at that music. Listen to that music, yo. But we got stuff to do first. So, Foot Locker. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sounds like this, where well, I, I miss the speedier options of travel. We all miss the speedy options of travel, don't we? Quick shit. That's what we call it. Quick shit. Let me take all that. I think that's. I think there's one more, yeah. You're out of curiosity. What? Calf. Can you. You can security it. On it. It's open. Largo, I. Yes? Don't think I want to talk to you yet, do I? Let me just. Just quick save. Please. Please don't hurt me. You don't have to kill me. I'll have Dabak's money if he, if he just gives me a little more time. Please. I don't want to die. Here, I've got 50 credits on me. That's all I've got. It's yours. Just don't tell Davik where I'm hiding, okay? I'm begging you. You mean, you're not here to kill me? But I, I thought you were one of Davik's bounty hunters. If you're not here to kill me, what do you want? You're just looking around. I don't think anyone can help me. I owe Davik money, and I was late with the payment. So he went to Zax in the bounty office and put a price on my head. I've been hiding here ever since. But sooner or later, someone will find me. Unless I somehow come up with another 200 credits. I'm a dead man. Thank you. You've saved my life. At least until one of Davik's bounty hunters finds me. I believe you can lie and tell people that he died. Uh, yeah, I think you, I think you can lie and, and be like, "Yo, yo, this guy, I killed him." I could be completely wrong, but I think anyway. Hey, you made it! I was beginning to wonder if you were going to show. The party's in full swing. Come Star Wars here. dubstep. To try this Teresian ale. It's fantastic. We should have conquered this planet ages ago. Careful, Sana. That wine's got quite the kick. A couple more bottles and we'll all be passed out on the floor. Who cares? We're not on duty tomorrow. Let's live a little. Come on, drink up. And everyone's out cold. So. Oh, no, come on. Oh, anything? Nope, okay, well, I'm just gonna come over here. And I'm gonna just steal your Sith armor. Oh, no, you do get the XP for it. Okay. You also get that stuff. So now we can go and trick that guy. Ah, oh, yeah. Probably gonna. You know what? We're gonna leave that to the next time, because we have been going on for. Oh, what on earth? Yeah, we've gone on for a fair bit this episode, so we're going to cut it here. And next time, we're going to be talking to that random guy who's guarding the, uh, what do you call it? The lift. See, I, I know words and things. I English good. <laughs>